Hey guys, Mike the Intrepid Fisherman here, and today we're going to talk about how to keep, or at least know, if your eyelet on your um, fishing rod has any kind of nicks or abrasions on it that might hurt your line as it's going in, uh, in and out of that eyelet. So let's start off with talking about what I use. I use a Q-tip. You could use um, a cotton ball or anything that has little hairs on it that can come off easily as you're rubbing it around the eyelet. So. I've already kind of been messing with this Q-tip, but you know, normally you get Q-tips in there, and depending on the brand, they're kind of tight down like this to the uh, Q-tip shaft. So what I do is I kind of twist and pull it just a little bit. I don't want it too bad, but just make it a little fluffy like that. And then we'll take a rod here. This is this is one of my normally used rods. It's my uh, GX2, my ugly stick that I use with my Academy reel, the H2O metal. I've got something going on up here just take and swirl this q-tip around kind of rub it in kind of pull it off of the sides a little and get those hairs to to maybe hit this uh, q-tip rubbed around in there and as you can see uh, hopefully there is no q-tip um, hairs being left behind on that eyelet so you just go down I usually do this during rod reel maintenance um, I do rod maintenance, washing and stuff every time I get back from the ocean or salt water definitely. I just kind of rinse down the rod and reel. Uh, don't spray, hard spray at the reel because you don't want water creeping its way into the little areas. But I just let the rain setting on my, um, my nozzle and I just kind of rinse down the rod, kind of wipe it down with a paper towel. And then I just go down whenever I'm doing reel maintenance. Um, Every couple of trips, or if I notice a reel's acting up or something, I'll take it off the rod. Um, I'm doing the reel maintenance, or just whenever. You can. This is so quick and easy. You just kind of run a, a Q-tip around in there. Two things it does is, you can see, I got a little residue in there, so it cleaned off a little bit of gunk. And it, but it's not leaving any um, of the Q-tip behind. And with this Q-tip being so fluffy, you can leave the line in there. Just make sure you go where the line is both times. Go in there nothing's being left behind um, and then when you finally make your way down to these two last two are usually where people will hook hooks um, there is on most smaller rods there's this little metal uh, deal here and that's for these hooks that's to do exactly that right there if you don't want to take your whole rig off you know I don't I leave my rig on here a lot of the times um, between trips if I'm doing a, a maintenance obviously I'll take all this off but this is for this hook. This is what this is for. You hook this on and you're good. You can walk around with it. There's a lot of people just simply hook the hook right here on one of these last two eyelets. Don't ever hook your hook right in the eyelet. I mean if you don't for some reason have this on your rod, hook it into the legs of that eyelet. That's perfectly fine. Never hook your your hook into the eyelet directly. The other thing too is don't... I never lean the rod tip against anything. I don't lean my rod up against things like this. I'll lean to where the shaft hits like this chair. I've got it leaned on over here. I'm just leaning it up against there. Um, so the hook on the eyelet but then also the things I see also is people will reel in and they'll get their swivel if they're using a swivel or they'll get the lure's head right directly into this top eyelet. As you can see it fits in there just a little bit and as it's kind of bouncing around in there, that can cause little chips and scratches that your your line, as it's out here like this, let's say that chipper scratch is on the front. Well, if you're catching a fish and it pulls on that, you can cut your own line. You can be your own worst enemy. So you don't want to do that. But see, like this one, okay, so this, this rod doesn't have one of those little holders, like I said. Now, you can get, there's little strap-on holders that you can get somewhere down here to hook it. Um, wouldn't suggest starting to hook it into the cork because you'll start tearing up the cork but you could find somewhere on here to hook it I, I just don't see one so this one I would probably hook it into the uh, the eyelet's leg so that's it guys so q-tips real simple real cheap way to find out if your eyelet needs maintenance or needs um, repair replacement I don't think there's much you can do to repair it once it happens um, once it's cut or you know got a nick in it I think if you I mean I'm Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if you sanded that down, um, that would actually do more damage because then you'd have an abrasive area there too. There's not really a way to fix those eyelets. Just get them replaced. They can be replaced by either a professional or if you're 
you're one of the guys that makes your own rods, you know, you can replace it pretty easily. Um, it's not simple, but you can get them replaced. So check, make sure they're not cut up, damaged, so that you don't lose fish out there on the water. All right, thanks for watching. That's it. Quick tips. Um, Q-tips checking those eyelets out. Be sure to do it on a regular basis. That way you don't lose fish because of some kind of nick or abrasion in your eyelet. Um, be sure to subscribe. That way you can see all the other videos that I've got coming out. I've got another one coming out here in the next couple of days about a fishing trip we just went on out into the Bolivar Peninsula. Be sure to like these videos if you like what I'm doing. That way I know. It gives me feedback. If you don't like them, hey, don't just hit that dislike, guys. Tell me what's going on. Tell me why it's wrong. Let me know what I'm doing that I can improve, and that way you can get better content from me. I enjoy all the comments that I get. I read every single comment, and I try and reply as quickly as I can. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of a fishing day, you'll know because you won't get replied to until the end of the day. I really do appreciate all of you that come by, watch the videos, and comment. I really do, guys. So thanks, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being there. We'll see you next Tuesday.